Hey guys, today we're going to be dyeing mesh. Uh, the reason I put the quotation marks is because we're not going to be using actual red dye. What we're going to be using is Tulip Color Shot. It's basically spray paint but for fabrics. The reason you don't want to use regular spray paint is because it's going to harden the mesh and it's there, there might be some flakiness. It's just not going to work out well. Trust me, I've, I've tried it. Um, um, you're going to be able to make pieces like this and like the piece I'm going to show in this video. What you're going to need for this is Tulip Color Shot. Uh, I got mine from Michaels, so check your local craft store. They might have this. This is what it looks like if I get a close up. So, Tulip Color Shot Fabric Color. You're also going to need white soft mesh and tape. Any tape works well. Uh, just anything that you can use to mask off the parts that you don't want to spray. Now normally I would do this outside and I recommend doing it outside but because there's a bunch of snow outside right now I can't do it outside. Uh, so as you can see I've masked off the places that I didn't want to be sprayed. I did it on both sides. And now with the help of some cardboard, I will continue to mask off the places that I don't want colored. Now take whatever color you want, uh, make sure it's shaped well. And you, wanna, or you might want gloves. And you're going to want to hold down the cardboard and spray. Just some quick sprays. You don't want to saturate it, um, just because it might there's more there's more of a chance of bleeding. So then, let's take off the cardboard and do it on the other side. And. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of wet, and that's why you don't want to overspray. Alright. Uh, if it's really wet, you just want to let it dry for a little bit. If not, you can continue with the next color. Or you can take a piece of um, napkin and just dry it down. Dry down the cardboard too. Dry that down. And flip it over. You want to be careful with not getting the rest of the mesh um, on top of that color because this this might be wet. So I don't want to put the mesh on there and then you know, cause bleed on parts that I don't want there to be color. Okay, so now the next color. And there we go. That one's a little light, so I'll do another coat. There we go. Do the other side. Uh, be careful with your gloves because um, they are wet with paint, fabric paint, still paint. Okay, then do the other side. Now, with the other side, I didn't have to do three coats because the paint bled a little through. And then you're finished. Now, uh, with this step, you just want to wait for it to dry. Alright guys, I'm back and the mesh is dry. So, you just want to take off the tape. There we go. 
I have a dyed piece of mesh. Pretty cool. Close up. So as you can see, the, the lines are very clean. Um, there's a bit of bleed here at the bottom, and that's just because I wasn't careful enough. Probably from the gloves or something. Um, but yeah, the lines are very clean and the lines are very clean and it just get as creative as you can with the masking and you could basically create any type of dye you want. Some things you might want to be aware of if you are going to do this inside because you have to like I did today make sure it's a well ventilated area and if anything um, buy some sort of mask because it does give off like a spray painty smell um, so there's that also just be careful don't rush uh, the more you rush, the more chances of a mistake. So, other than that, just, just be creative and have fun. Thanks for watching, guys.